Thanks for tuning in. I'm Justin Jaggers, Media Specialist for North Central Electric Power Association. And again, we're joined by our IT tech, Pete Nelson, who's going to give us some tips of being safe online. It's a cooperative month, and it's also cybersecurity month, and we want to make sure that your information and you are safe online. Uh, so, Pete, we're going to talk today about uh, Internet connections. And one of the things that we've seen, uh, you know, out and about, in the, especially in the Missis North Mississippi area, is that you see a lot of free Wi-Fi networks. So when is it okay to connect to a Wi-Fi network? If it's secure. You can tell if it's secure because it'll have that lock, uh, the lock on it. Next to the name. Um, next to the name. Um, if it's not secure, then anyone can get on it, and anyone can grab your IP address, and you're just opening yourself up. So, uh, but like with, like let's say like Starbucks, if you're going into a Starbucks, those usually have secure Wi-Fi networks? Or do usually. You, have, you need to ask some questions. Before usually. You you definitely need to ask questions about it. Um, if they usually have some logging on there, so they can kind of get to, you know, see what's going on, but you still open yourself up to an attack on a open network like that. Okay, so that would that would be the next thing to talk about is what do people need to look for before connecting online. I mean, obviously, the name of the Wi-Fi network can obviously let you know if it's associated with a business or just an open you know, account. That's correct. Okay. Uh, but like I said, you also still want to look for that little lock symbol signifying that it is secured and then your information is more protected that way. Okay. Um, and something that people use to connect, what is a firewall? A firewall? Oh, a firewall blocks, it, you can set it up to block incoming traffic, you can set it up to block outgoing traffic. Um, and you can you can block the the traffic coming in on different ports, which might be um, somebody trying to get into the a hacker or something. Correct. Okay. Um, a hacker could be trying to get into it, or even you know, an internet connection um, that you're trying to get to. Um, say you're trying to get to Google, you can't. Well, that's because your port has been blocked on there. You can't actually get out to the internet. A firewall just keeps your network more secure and allows the traffic that you want to flow through that firewall. Okay. Well, sometimes when you try and access something that's not accessible on a firewall, it gives you a warning on your computer if it's a Mac or a Windows computer. When should you say, okay, I need to not touch this site? Anytime you have a question about that, you should probably back out and ask somebody. Um, if it's at home and you don't have anyone to ask, then you know, find someone. Find someone. Um, you know, whether it be at a business, you know, or computer shop, computer or, shop, yeah. anybody. And you can always check with your uh, internet service provider's customer service line to find out what kind of connections you should be seeing or shouldn't be seeing, and ask more questions there. You can also follow us for more information and safety tips online at www.northcentralepa.com, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Thanks for tuning in.